Hey, what's up everyone? It's Zobe here and look at this. Today I'm gonna tell you three of the most important things. So you're gonna see uh, I'm at I'm on eight on five. And you you probably wonder how I do that. So the whole video I'm just gonna explain you how to get to eight there. And you know the spear, the bound spear, we need it so much that I'm gonna tell you how to get that. So let's dive straight into it. But wait a second. Like you see, I am at seven there. Usually I'm at seven there too. But I found a way to get one more point. And yeah. So look at this. Uh, when I go on my 10 there. Um, you see over there I have plus two rank corpse explosion. I'm going to upgrade the item later. But... Uh, I dropped that, uh, like I had the same corpse explosion, but I had just dropped one better, so yeah. So you, you take that corpse explosion, and then, uh, look, you have bone spear too. So, right there you gain the plus two, so you, you get to seven. So, uh, with that you get a nice upgrade, but look, look, look. On the amulet, you can have plus one of all corpse skills so for most of the build you're gonna make uh this plus one i guess can, can apply to a lot of things but plus one corpse skill it's one give me that eight there so yeah the weapon perk in this game are kind of crazy when you think about that I think this is one of the most important thing when you do a build. You want the weapon perk and then you want the movement speed. It's most of the time always on the boots because uh, the boots, it's like the shoe, you run with it so you move faster. It just makes sense. And then you want some attack speed too. So like on the glove, you know, it just makes sense too. Like it's so you attack with the glove so it makes you faster. So it's easy to remember that the glove and the boots, you run faster with the boots and you attack faster with the glove. It's like what you want the most on it. And yeah, man, that's about it. Um, so I decided to show you gameplay. Uh, like you can see in that video, the main goal is to do a couple of corps at the start. Uh, make sure your your uh, pet aren't dying too much because if they are dying you're gonna need some corpse uh, to make more so you just evaluate the situation don't make explode too much but you need to keep doing it till because like the world build is made just to do some explosion like that but uh, your pet are creating corpse when they hit the people so you can just make more explosion if you have all your pet alive so what you want first is to keep your pet alive and then secondary is to blow the corpse and uh yeah like you can see a uh, single target uh, it's not too bad a, a build too since i have the bone uh, upgrade and shit and um yeah the single target that i use it's not bad so yeah, I'm gonna show the skill tree of my build. So like that, you guys can copy or do whatever you want. You can see uh, the optic I, I take and the way I think. So yeah, you guys have fun, man. So yeah, first one, my decompose for sure. I like it. I think there's maybe other that are good. Like I, like, I know I've seen some people use that on stream, but I did not like it. Maybe if you have an entire bone build, then it make more sense. But if you don't have a bone build, it just don't make sense. When you start, uh, straight at the start, start. When you uh, don't have that and when you don't have the explosion, I think using reap, ju just to cleave, cleave, cleave real quick everything, it's not a bad idea. But yeah, my favorite one is this one because uh, create corpse every two seconds. It's not that much, but it's just enough to feed uh, and keep going with the... Uh, summons so yeah gaining essence uh slow enemy like i think slowing an enemy that is coming to you can be make you survive like against beer and stuff like that the beer in this game are insane so yeah the bone spear is like that um 
break into three shards and come back like uh, that shit is insane surgery makes a miracle uh yeah this one is pretty nice too i like it like more bone everywhere is just better uh i i think the vulnerable is maybe better than that yeah i will need to rework because it you know it costs some, some is but my real thought is the vulnerable is maybe better because uh take 20 percent increased damage uh, during the moment and the the javelin passed through everything i don't even know why i probably put this i need to try and i kept it uh, without thinking but i think when i'm gonna reform it's gonna be that uh this attack is pretty nice too but uh it uh, probably only if you have a blight build like uh if you get uh, all the same type of thing so yeah this ability was pretty good but i don't put it in my build for the moment uh well passive i want some passive so after that i been uh, i just invest everything into some passive so this one's pretty good this one is pretty good too i'm a mage and yeah the life of my skeletal mage it, like they are far behind but still uh pretty nice to have as much as i can and i put a lot on that you're gonna see why i think the uh, explosion are blood you see what i mean so uh look blood skill 12 percent more dps that's an insane blood output um yeah we give you 45 so you see it's all like blood related uh stuff like my minion i want them to survive as much they do probably more dps than me it's hard to say man seriously it's insane and yeah like life from our source everyone want that so yeah 45 for sure yeah. corpse everything that i do is for forming corpse you're gonna see even uh, this attack there is forming corpse and it gives me some fortify, so I always have some fortify on, like, impossible that I don't have it on. And yeah, the DPS of my golem, for sure it's important. And I use the bone storm, like, I, I don't have a bone build. It's probably even better if you have a bone build, but I think the bone storm is insane, because it's around your golem and you. And when you want to burst one target, even if it's uh, AoE, you just get you and your golem on top of it and just burst that shit is insane and yeah it gives you 45 so it helps you to survive while doing it and critical crit chance man like what the fuck shit is insane dude so yeah this is what you want um yeah my reaper to make more corpse for me it's really important my mage Essence, always need more essence. And the Golem, he do just more DPS. He just do a uh, AOE shockwave. Like I, I want AOE. I did not test everything, but uh, I think that just makes sense. Because making me vulnerable is good, but he's not always hitting the same at me. You see what I mean? Uh, taking off the golem I think can be a really good thing too, but um, probably more into a uh, team play. But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, yeah, like I don't want to abuse of that. So I wish you guys gonna have a good day. Peace out.